I think one of my favorite things about this film coming out is seeing all the dudes that are like, No way am I going to see a Barbie movie, man. I'm a man, bro. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about one of the most anticipated films of 2023 and that is Barbie. Directed by Greta Gerwig who wrote this film alongside Noah Baumbach. This film stars an all-star cast of people like Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, Kate McKinnon, America Ferreira, Ariana Greenblatt, Michael Sarah, Will Ferrell, Simu Liu, Issa Rae, and so, so many more. Hey guys, and welcome to my review of the new Barbie film, the first live action film based on the absolute phenomenon and popular toy for many decades, just simply known as Barbie, with Margot Robbie in the lead and directed by Greta Gerwig. And when I heard this movie was coming out and I started to hear about the talent that was being put together for this movie, I was absolutely ecstatic because this is easily a movie that could have been given to some, you know, throwaway director or some just random director who makes some, you know, silly, fun family films and could have just been a, a throwaway family film. It just it could have just been a, just a very straightforward, generic Barbie film because we've had plenty of Barbie films that have come out that are animated, that are straight to video and I'm sure are nostalgic for many, but never anything that's ever become a huge worldwide success like I think that this film is going to. But instead, they gave this film to a, a critically acclaimed director in Greta Gerwig who has films that's been nominated and has won awards. And when I first heard that Greta Gerwig was not only going to be writing this film, but also directing, I knew that there was going to be a, a real eye behind the camera that was going to create something different and artistic, which excited me as a film goer. As a kid, my sister had a couple Barbies that maybe we played, you know, together with my toys. Maybe we had, you know, Captain America fall in love with Barbie and maybe a Xenomorph was building a life with another Barbie. And I remember owning a Ken doll at one point that had like this super surfboard that had like jetpacks on it or something like that. Uh, but, you know, I, I never really played with Barbies outside of maybe my sister having a couple and us bringing our toys together to make some sort of story you know and and outside of that when i was really young I, I don't have a long history with barbie it's not something i played a whole lot with i haven't watched any of the other movies that have come out this is just you know uh, something that's super popular in the world that i'm super familiar with but not something that i've ever really dived deep into i'm not necessarily the target audience but as a fan of film when i started seeing the cast that was being laid out for this film and the director that was being put in place yeah i think it goes without saying i was absolutely excited to see how i'd feel about this and so for anybody who's not familiar with Barbie, like I said, it's a, a toy line, very popular dolls made by Mattel, very popular toy company. And this is the movie about Barbie starring Margot Robbie in the lead. And the movie opens up and we're in Barbie land, Barbie world, and we're seeing all of the other Barbies played by all these various actresses, all giving fantastic performances, leaning in to the very over the top self-aware humor that you kind of want from a movie like this. That's something I'll start this off by saying right out of the gate that I loved was the, the, this the overall tone of the film. The film knew what it was and knew the humor that it needed to have. It was very, very self-aware. A lot of the jokes were making fun of itself, making fun of the brand, making fun of Mattel, making fun of toys all together. And when we start this movie off, we're introduced to this world and we're introduced to Margot Robbie as the stereotypical normal Barbie. And not too long into the film, she starts to notice some things are not necessarily as she kind of has expected them to be. She's waking up feeling a little bit more groggy. Uh, she doesn't have things happening in her life in the exact same way. Things are changing. She feels off. And then she ends up learning that the reason for this is that because the person who's playing with her in the real world is actually having a hard time. They're, you know, kind of in a very negative place in their life. And now Barbie has to go into the real world to try to figure out what she can do to make the person who's playing with her in the real world happy once again so that she can save herself and the world of Barbie land. And along the way, you have Ken played by Ryan Gosling who ends up joining her on this adventure and she ends up meeting a mother and daughter in the film played by America Ferreira and Ariana Greenblatt who are the ones who have the doll in real life and she now has to work with them to try to bring a smile and some happiness back into their life again to save Barbie land. And I won't get too much deeper into all the spoilers of the narrative. That's the basic gist. 
Barbie has to go to the real world to find the real people who own her as a doll and try to make their life better in person. And it's such a weird concept, you know, anytime that they take a character from a cartoon or a toy line like this and bring him into the real world, a lot of times it makes you wonder why they do that and why they don't just kind of keep it within the world that's already been established. But in the case of Barbie, I thought that it did a fantastic job with this kind of a premise. I thought the movie, again, was so self-aware with itself that when she comes to the real world, there's so much great humor with these characters that are over the top and care about dream houses and nice clothing and all these really silly things. And then they come into this world that's, you know, dirty and grimy and is ruled by men and, and has all these different elements that are completely different from Barbie land where everything's ruled by women. And uh, I, I just think overall, the overall tone of the film, the comedy, it was just really top notch. I think they really understood what this movie needed to be tonally. And, and I was just really on board with it all. And some of the humor that we have to talk about here is going to be a lot about gender roles. Now, uh, something I enjoyed about this film is that while I know it's probably going to piss off some people because they're going to think that, you know, this movie's taking away my masculinity. This movie is for ladies, and, and they're saying that men are worse than ladies. There's probably going to be an audience that's like that with this movie. But what I loved about this film is while there are a lot of jokes about misogyny, while there are a lot of jokes about a world run by men and how different it is from Barbie land, this is a film at its core about equality and finding who we are individually. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter who you are and what you are. This movie, while it does make jokes about women and men, and a lot of times, you know, poking fun at men as this is a more of a female empowerment film, at its core and at the end of it, for not only Barbie, but also for the Ken characters in this film as well, this is a movie about finding yourself. This is a movie about creating your own identity, and it isn't necessarily what's labeled on the box or what people think your life is that your life should be or what it should be defined by. And I think that's something we can all relate to. It's something I definitely can relate to as I feel in a lot of ways in my life right now, I don't really have control. I'm not really a happy person when it comes to the day to day. I feel like I'm lost in the monotony of work. I feel pretty drained and exhausted. I feel pretty discouraged with YouTube fairly often. And a lot of times I let a lot of those things bog me down and kind of define who and what I am or my success level, whatever the case may be. And that's a big part of this movie is the idea of who we are and, and the misery of who we all are in a lot of ways, the struggle that everybody's kind of dealing with and the fake personas that are on top. They use the, the metaphor of this plastic world, this Barbie world that's about dream houses and magic and cutesiness and let's go all party and have a slumber party. They use that world to kind of be a metaphor for the modern day where we're lost in social media, where we're lost in the plastic side of who we are. We're lost in, you know, the, the fake versions of ourselves and not necessarily who we are on the inside but the version that we're you know plastering on the box as if there was an action figure of anthony and who i want you to think i am me with two thumbs up and i'm the movie review guy and i'm cool the reality is that's not true right and i got my own internal struggles and uh, there's this element of me wondering who i truly am and if i'm happy in different areas of my life and I like that this movie touched on that because this is a movie that isn't really for kids, you know? There's definitely elements I think kids will enjoy, but this is a movie that's for adults and specifically people who grew up with Barbie. There's a lot of great humor and lightheartedness and stuff around the, the actual product of Barbie. Mattel makes a lot of jokes about themselves in this movie, or at least they allowed Greta Gerwig and the other writer uh, to make a lot of jokes about their company within this, but they utilize this idea, again, uh, of a plastic world versus the real world. And and utilize that kind of like social media and, and the fake world that we all kind of kind of live in versus the real world and how we all truly are. And, and I just thought that that was just so cleverly done. I really got to praise the, the creative team behind that. And, and I really got to praise the cast here. Margot Robbie is fantastic as our lead, as the stereotypical Barbie. I think that she brings a lot to the role. And at first, you know, while she is playing that generic Barbie that's smiley and pretty and wearing like all the outfits and doing all the like, you know, let's go out there and, you know, have a great day kind of Barbie. While that is present, it, it, it does become more about her character really trying to have a, 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 a whole self-discovery journey. And I thought that that was so well done. Uh, same with Ryan Gosling as Ken. He plays this dopey, over-the-top guy who wants Barbie's attention. And while that is something that is really endearing and fun and cute about his character, uh, by the time you get to the end, it's truly something that he uses to define himself versus actually finding who he is in and of himself. And I think that, again, that was just so well done because all of the Kens and all of the Barbies have to kind of have this moment of self-discovery over the course of the film. And I think that they just, 
I just thought this was so clever. I, I just thought this was a good, fun time that made me laugh, that had me emotional at times, that had me really just impressed with a lot of the filmmaking techniques used here. There's a lot of great use of set design and costume design, and the performances were great. The musical score was great. There's a couple of musical numbers in here as well that I thought were pretty fantastic with some great choreography. And I just think that the tone was just right. All of the actors understood what kind of movie they were in. Nobody's overacting because the movie calls for a little bit of overacting because it's supposed to be ridiculous so there's never a sense of it feeling like all oh, the actors are overdoing it it's like no it's just that perfect amount of overdoing it and when the movie is asking for subtleties and for nuance in moments that really have to kind of flesh out dialogue and character the movie and the actors all knew how to kind of reel it back in and give us what this movie is really all about while also still being able to have fun and have these big ridiculous antics that are happening throughout the course of the film. Overall, I'm happy to say that I really enjoyed Barbie, if you can't already tell. I found it to be very well acted, very well put together. I think if you're a fan of Barbie, this is definitely a movie for adults who grew up with Barbie, more so than it is for kids. So if you're watching this and you're wondering, hey, listen, I got a kid. She likes Barbie dolls. She wants to see the movie. Do you think this is for her? You know, I, I can understand, or you know, or him, you know, if, if you I can understand maybe wanting to take your kid to this movie. I don't think it's necessarily, you know, harmful to take your kid to this movie, but it is something that's a lot more for adult. There's a lot more uh, adult jokes and innuendos that are happening throughout the course of this film. And a lot of it is referencing the history of Barbie, because this is a world where kids don't really play with Barbies anymore, is that Barbie is going into, you know, and this is about Barbie kind of finding her place in a world where Barbie isn't really who Barbie once was. And I think that that was just really cleverly done with a really great story that has a fish out of water element, but also these, you know, metaphors of living in our own fake world and reality being a different situation i thought that they took such a silly premise something that could have just been such a generic you know product placement kind of movie and created a really great movie with an emotional arc that i thought was really really well done and I, the more i'm sitting on it the more i'm thinking about it I, I literally just left the theater not too long ago i feel like the more i sit with this movie the more i'm going to enjoy it it's a movie that i definitely look forward to revisiting uh, i just feel like on almost every level was very well made and and i honestly really thoroughly enjoyed this film if i had to give any criticisms when it comes to this movie anything that maybe i wasn't in love with there were a couple of characters throughout the course of the film that felt kind of just there to be you know serviceable they were there to kind of push the story along in certain moments there was things that kind of felt a little bit rushed there was a couple of characters that felt underdeveloped but outside of that outside of a couple of things that maybe could have been expanded upon a little bit more maybe a couple of things that needed a little bit more to them uh, for the most part i felt like this movie knew what it was it had fun with what it was it was silly it was it was really funny at times some of the humor doesn't necessarily land uh it was super self-aware and, and it just ultimately was just really well made I, again i just really appreciated seeing the set design and seeing the costume design and just the, the special effects when needed. It was just overall was just a fun movie to watch. And I saw it in a packed theater with a bunch of Barbie fans. There were people dressed up as Barbie left and right. A lot of pink I saw at the theater tonight. A lot of guys dressed up as Cowboy Ken and just, you know, people were into it. There was a lot of people, men and women, that were dressed up like these characters. A lot of pink that were cheering throughout the course of the movie, that were laughing out loud. And it's always a great time to be able to go to the theater and see a movie. I don't care what it is it could be a barbie movie it can be the next avengers movie as long as the audience is coming together for something that they can all kind of just have a good time with and react together that for me is the, my favorite thing it's my favorite thing about going to the movies film exhibition is something that's so important to me and movies like this experiences like tonight are exactly why i go to the movies i don't care what the movie is i want to see a theater filled with people that are having a reaction of some sort and in the case of barbie i'm happy to say that my theatrical experience was epic it was never annoying with everybody cheering and everybody that was excited and laughing at certain moments in the film it all felt tasteful and in the right moments it felt like everybody was having a lot of fun and it was just great to see the camaraderie of all these people coming together to celebrate barbie which again for me is not something i have like tenured history with but I can appreciate it and I can appreciate the love that was put into this film I can appreciate the love that was put into this for the fans and I can appreciate a, a really heartfelt emotional story at the core of this movie I think if you were somebody who's maybe like eh, I don't know if I want to see Barbie because you know it just doesn't seem like my kind of thing I'm sorry if I'm generalizing you maybe you, maybe you just don't, don't want to see the movie maybe it just doesn't seem like your kind of thing I would really recommend checking this movie out. I think it's definitely a movie that's worth watching, and I think it's a movie that has some really good messages in there, for sure. Um, I think also there's a great mother-daughter story in here as well, too. So, you know, if you, you know, have a mom or you have a daughter and you want to go see something that has a good mother-daughter narrative in there, 
definitely think it's a solid time. So I'm going to stop rambling now. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place at this point. But overall, without getting into spoilers too much, I thought Barbie was a great time. And I definitely can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this movie. So leave any and all comments down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Bye-bye.